Okay, since a lot of students actually they, they have problem in understanding probability, so those so today I decided to actually make one videos to like uh teach teach you about the basic concept uh about the probability. So I hope this video actually will give you some idea what is actually the probability and how actually the probability work and how actually the probability happen. Alright. Of course, in this video, actually, I'm not in, I, I will not include any past year question or any questions because I just want to teach you about the concept. So I, I really hope this, way, this, this video actually can help you somehow understand better about the probability. Alright, okay, first, because a lot of time when you see probability, you will see something like this. Okay, so let's say probability for event A will equals to number of A divided by number of sample space okay so a lot of students might not understand about what is what is number of event A and what is the number for sample space okay so let's say let's say I'm I make the case simple okay let's say A is just okay let's say here actually we have one two three four 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's say we have 15 tokens here. Okay, let's say I say event A is a token. Okay, now you just ignore about the color because event A is just a token. Okay, what is the sample space here? What is the sample space here? Sample space here means, sample space means how many sample you take in, uh, how many sample actually you use in this experiment. So therefore, they call it sample space however i always define standard space uh, sample space as a total what is the total token you have is uh, for the sample space so let's say now total we have 15 token 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so over here i know my sample space equals to 15 okay all right so now and then he said, okay, let's say I say A is the red token. Okay, A is a red, to uh, red color token. Okay, we have how many red color token over here? We have one, two, three, four, five. So it's called five over 15. So you got, it's five over 15. However, probability, we always need to simplify it. So we have got one over three. Okay, if you got 1 over 3, what is the meaning for 1 over 3? Okay, so 1 over 3 means what? Means is I randomly take one token from this experiment. Okay, means ev uh, every three time I take the token, I I might get the I might get the red color token. Alright, so you got 1 over 3 means if you try three times, at least you got one time, you will get the red color token. Alright, this is the meaning for 1 over 3. So, it basically, it's very simple for probability. So, actually, like, A is just, uh, event A is just depend what's, uh, what's the question defined about the event A. Like this case, the event A, I say, is a red color token. So, red color token, basically, we have 5 red color token. N stands for number. So, number for red color token is 5. And then number for sample space means total, we have how many tokens over here? We have 15. So the probability will be 5 over 15. And then you just simplify, you will get the probability, you will get the red color token will be well, 1 over 3. Okay, let me change something. Okay, let's say A now is the blue color token. Okay, it's a blue token. Now, I want to find the probability A. If, okay, this is a... Uh, another, ca another case. Huh? So let's say A is the blue color token. And then the question asks you, what is the probability you will get the blue token? So I said R is the number of event A. It means how many blue color token you have here. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have 7 blue color token divided by the sample space. Sample space always means total or how many sample actually you, you, you use in this experiment. So you have 15. So this is the probability you will get a blue color token. 
All right, and then let let's continue. Okay, let's say I change G. Okay, I can write this is event G. Let's say event G stands for green color token, or I I will say green token. So what is the probability for G? So probability for G is how many green color you have one two and three, divide by total. So is three over fifteen. We always need to simplify. It will become one over five. So this is the probability. You will get a green color token. So whenever you get one over five, you must understand this means what? This means if I randomly grab from here, okay? Mean if I grab five times, maybe we'll have one time actually I will take the green color. Of course, this one is like uh, we assume we assume all the probability is equal. Of course, in the real real life, uh, in the real lives scenario may maybe the probability is not equal but then when we learn the probability we will assume we will take it randomly means we do not have any bias means i won't purposely go and take a green means i just close my eyes and then randomly grab one i will grab a green color one the probability is one over five if one over five you change to the percentage actually this one is zero percent uh zero percent blood this one is twenty percent you just use one over five multiple one hundred percent you have got twenty percent that's mean if i randomly grab from here means I will get the green color one I got 20% okay I got 20% I will get the green color one okay so for example now I only have all blue what is the probability I will get the blue color I will, I will get a blue color token it will be 100% because all the token here is blue no matter how many times I pick I will get the blue color so it's hundred percent so okay what is the meaning for hundred percent in probability if you got the hundred percent in probability it will mean something okay so we, we know some things of from here is for probability uh, let's say i just randomly write event a probability the values of probability you will get between one and zero okay one means hundred percent Okay, zero means zero percent. Let's say from here, I want to get a yellow color token. So you will know it's impossible. No matter how many times I try, actually I can, it's impossible to get a yellow color token. So my probability will be zero. Okay, if let's say if okay, what is the probability I will get? I will get a token. So in this case, no matter how I get, actually I will get a token. So it will be 100%. Or maybe I use this example, I use back the example just now, will be easy for students to understand. I mean, what is the probability I will get a blue color token? Will be 100%. 100% we will call one, because one you have to multiply 100%. Uh, 100%. All right, okay, this is the simple part of the probability. Of course, in your exam, it won't come out like so simple. Okay, so maybe I will go deeper a bit. Okay, let's see. We use back the same token over here. Okay, now, what happens is, if I take two tokens, okay, I ask you to find the probability. Okay, the first token I get is red color and the second token I get is red color also. So I will say red one and red two. Okay. Okay, this one. Okay, when, when the question asks about actually you get more than one token, mean two token or three token, the important information is where whether the question replace. So you must always careful about the word replacement. Okay. In these cases, what I, uh, I want to do is without replacement. Means, when I get the first token, I didn't put it back. I, di I, I, did I didn't put it back, means without replacement. Okay, now, I want to find the probability that I will get the... Okay, I want to randomly get two red color token. Okay, and then I... We, means when I get the first red color token out, I, I won't put... I won't, I won't put this red color token back to the sample. Means after I take this one, I will take and then I, I randomly pick another red color. Okay, so the question will ask you to find what is the probability that you will get, you will get two red color token. Okay, so, okay, how this will happen is something like this. Okay, for, so I, I will say the first time and the second time, 
All right. So the first time, maybe at the same time, I introduce the tree diagram as well. Okay. So I will just call this one is a red color, and this one is not the red color. Okay. I put red complement mean not the red color. Okay. This one is a red color. So this is the first time we draw right. So I put R one, and then the second time I will say R two. Okay, this one is the second time you get the red color. The second time you won't get the red color. The second time you will get the red color. The second time you won't get the red color. Okay, okay. If you do not understand this one, never mind. But then I want to explain is something like this. Okay, now the question asks, what is the probability actually you will get the red color token? So. You will get two red color token without replacement bags. The first red color token, all right. So that means okay. We we go for the first first first. Okay, first red color. Mean if I randomly grab a red color over here, we have, we we got how many red here? One, two, three, four, five. And then what is our total here? Is fifteen. So the first one is very simple. It's just five over fifteen. Okay, so if we if we have five is red color one, we have how many is not the red color one? We have another ten is not the red color, because it's very simple. You just use total minus five, you got ten. Or you can calculate not the red color one. You can calculate you actually you got ten. All right. So, so this is the first probability. Okay, now if I grab the red color already and then never put it back. Okay, I just put it in my pocket. Right. So, in the second time, now in the second time, what is the probability I will get the red color again? Then I will calculate how many red color I have. One, two, three, four. I have four red color. Over what is my sample space for second time? Will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's fourteen. Why is fourteen? Because actually just now I take one in my pocket already. So this one when I take out the total will be minus one. So the red color just now is five now become four. Why? Because actually I take one red color already. So here actually left four red color. All right. Okay. Now for this one, what is the probability for second time is not the red color? Okay. For not the red color will be. Okay, you calculate not the red color. You will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, you have ten out of fourteen because if you calculate here, you have four fourteen. Ah, uh, total will be fourteen, and not the red color will be ten. So, so in in this probability, okay, what we can understand is is like okay, for for the first time, not the red color will be ten. The second time, not the red color is still the. It still remain as ten. It still remain ten. Why it will still remain ten? Because for first time, what I get is the red color. I never take not the red color one, so not the red color one will still remain ten. All right. What happens to the probability over here? Okay, it's something like this. This is three diagram. Somehow it's quite difficult for student to understand. Okay, if the first time here actually is the first time, so this one is the second time. Okay, if the first time I get is not the red color, okay, this one is not the red color. I put a not here. Somehow student confused. Okay, if the first time I get not the red color, that means I can get any. Ah,、uh, I can get from any token here, but then cannot get from red. So what I know is, if the first time I get is not the red color, mean the second time this one not the red color will be. Minus one from the total because maybe I get one blue, so we left nine or even maybe I get one green, so still we still left nine over fourteen. So if the first time I get is not the red color, means the second time not the red color one will remain nine. Of course, when first time no matter what color I take, the total will still minus one because I without replacement, total impossible to remain fifteen. Will will become fourteen. So what happens to the red color if the first time I get is not the red color one, the second time I I will get the red color will remain five here. So you see here actually we have five out of fourteen. Okay, this is what happens when without replacement means the sec the second time the probability actually will change. If 
if the question say actually he will replace mean he replacement backs the token that means the first time and the second time the probability will be the same all right so okay we come back to this question now i want to find what is the probability that i will take two token and both also is the red color so that means red color have to multiple with red color remember it's multiple not plus so probability for red color and red color okay or, or i say probability for two red color will be 5 over 15 multiple 4 over 14 okay then you just use the calculator to press you will get the correct answer easily okay maybe i just press the answer okay so basically 5 over 15 multiple 4 over 14 so you got 2 over 21 okay okay then we go to something much more deeper okay so what is the probability okay i get two token but not the same color not the same color uh no no okay do not want this okay i want to find the probability that only one red color only one red from two token okay now the second probability is something like this if i randomly take from the token over here i take two token and then same same thing i i, I without replacement back the, the token okay i will only get only one red color that means it's the first time i create is the red color the second time i take i cannot get the red color again because i said only one red color means the second time i might i must get from the not the red color or if the first time i get is the green second time i get must be the red color this is the meaning for only one red color so what will happen is if you can understand three diagram this one will be very simple if only one red color okay you see this one is the first time i get is red color so if first time i get is red color 5 over 15 the second time i cannot get red color again because i want only one red color so will be i will multiply with the probability not the red color will be 10 over 14. okay this is the first first scenario second scenario is what if the first time i get is not the red color 10 over 15 the second time i get must be the red color because i want only one red color okay so the second time i get will be multiple 5 over 14. and then both of these probability after you multiple you have to plus together okay you have to plus together and then yeah and then you use a calculator you should be easily get the answer okay let me press very fast so this one with 1 over 15 multiple with 10 over 14. okay this is 5 over 21 so this one will be i think will be the same plus 5 over 21 so i will get 10 over 21. so this one will be the probability that okay when you get two token at least one of the token uh, not at least you when you get two token it will be one token is red color when you get two token it will be one token is red color okay because it can can be only one red color mean both red color I cannot accept red and red i cannot accept not the red and not the red i cannot accept also so i can put i can only accept red not red not red red so this one is the first time i i take the token this one will be the second time i take the token okay can understand okay so let's let me move on to something okay something more challenging okay let's see okay let's see just now we already calculate is for the probability both also is red color it's very simple we just red color multiple red color now what is the probability that both also not the red color meaning the first time i get is not the red color the second time i get is not the red color so we have to get from here this one is probably not the red color right the first time i get not the red color and the second time i get is not the red color is the if because you want both also not the red color and 
not the red color. Okay, one and two. So when you go to the tree diagram, you no need to go for the red color one. This one means what? First time you get is red color. So this one is not I. This one I do not want because I want both also not the red color. So the first time I get is not the red color will be 10 over 15. And then the second time I get is not the red color again will be 9 over 14. Then you multiple. Okay, you just multiple and then you can easily get the answer. So maybe I just press the answer 10 over 15 multiple with 9 over 14. So you got 3 over 7. This is the probability that both also not the red color. Okay, yeah, so if if okay, if you see from the token over here, if the first time I get is not the red color, let's say I randomly I grab. Okay, so when I want to get this blue, okay, what's the probability is because now only red color and not the red color, right? So not the red color will have 10 here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I will get randomly get one. The probability will be 10 out of 15 because I have 10 is not the red color one. Out of 15 in total. So the first thing I get will be 10 out of 15. So after I get one not the red color one, the second time I want to grab another not the red color one, it will left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So from 9 out of 15, eh, out of 14 here because the second time only left 14 here. Okay, I want to get the not the red color one will be 9 over 14. So the first time probability multiple with the second time probability, you will get this answer. Okay, I hope this video can give you some insight about how the probability works. Okay, actually it's very simple, but then if you cannot understand, it might take, take you some time to understand about this one, the color, red color or not the red color. Okay, maybe I just give you the last uh, last example before I end this video. Okay, maybe the color thing will make will make you feel a bit confused. Maybe we use a letter. Alright. Okay, I just randomly grab some letter over here. Okay. Let's say we got uh, okay. I'm not really good in the English. Okay. Anything. Let's say we got red. Mana. I like mana. Okay. Got no. Uh, just ignore about the the meaning of this word. Okay. I just want to teach property using this word. Okay. Let's say I will group them into the two box. Let's say I call this one is the. Okay. Let's say I call this one is the box P. Oops. Let's say I call this one is the box P and then group this one in, in another box I call this one as a box Q okay because okay now be, before I start to okay show this example okay now okay if I'm the person who, who will take this letter okay now this is a condition okay listen I must get one letter from the box Q and then I will get another letter from the box P. I mean, from here I will randomly grab one letter here and then I will grab another letter here. Means I must get, okay, then I will, I want to form a letter code. Maybe I want to form a letter code. Okay. So now, the exam will always ask you to like, list out all the possibility, uh, list out all the sample. Okay. List out all the sample actually is very Oh, okay, it's very simple. But then, if you cannot understand, it will not be simple. Okay, let's say the first letter I get is L. So, is this the possible I will get L, M? So I write L, M. But it's still the probability, uh, po possibility I will get L, L A. And then still got the probability I will got L, N. And then we still have the probability that I will got again L A. Okay, and then if the first, uh, if from the box Q I get the first letter is E, so there's the probability I will got E M. 
And then there is the probability I will got EA. And then there's the probability I will got EN. And then there's a probability I will got again EA. So the last one actually I now need to show. If the last one I get is G, so you imagine what you got is you got GM. And then you got GA. And then you got GN. And then you will got GA again. So this is all the sample of the letter code. If I get one letter from box Q and another let letter from box P. So now, is it possible I will got LE? It's not possible. Why? Because I say I must get one letter from Q and one letter from P. If LE happen means actually I get two letters from Q. So this condition is not fulfilling the condition I mentioned just now. Alright, so it's not possible. So this is the only uh, sample space I have. This is the only sample space I have. So over here, you have to write the number for sample space. You will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Over 12. Okay, and then the exam might ask something very simple. The exam must ask something very simple. Okay. What is the probability I will get the num uh, the letter code start with the letter L? Okay, then you have to find the letter will start with okay will be start with L. So you have how many letter code will start with L? One, two, three, four. So will be four over sample space will be twelve. Simplify is one over three. Done. Okay, and then maybe the question will ask, what is the probability that both also will be vowel? What is vowel here? Vowel will be A, E, I, O, U. This is vowel. Okay, the, the other side will be consonant. Consonant means not the A, I, O, U. It will be B, C, D, F. Okay, those, those is consonant. So he said, what is the probability that the number code both will be vowel? So both will be vowel. You have to see from here. You got how many uh, number uh, letter code which is both also vowel? We have one e a, two e a. Yeah, we only have two, so it will be two out of twelve. So it will be one over six. Okay, okay. Or maybe you say, what is the probability that both also is consonant? So it will be consonant. Okay, C O N S O N N A N T. So co both also consonant mean we just minus both over. So we got 12 minus 2, we left 10 out of 12, which is 5 over 6. Then you got the answer. Okay, because in the exam, a lot of time you ask you list out all the sample. Okay, or you say list out sample space or list out all the sample. So what you need to do is you, you just group them together and then you just imagine there's a possibility you got. LM, LA, or LN, or LA. Okay, yeah. But if this is letter code, somehow it will be confused. Student is because LA is the LA will be the same. So in this kind of case, maybe we need to delete one of the LA. But then it's very depend on the question. But sometimes actually you can involve. So you just ignore this one. So if in the exam you're not sure you just list out everything maybe you just repeat the LA he won't mark you wrong he only will mark you maybe like minus one mark because you're repeating LA okay but then most of the time you just list list out like this will be correct most of the time will be correct so yeah so I hope this video really can give you better insight about what is the probability in SPM yeah, maybe if you go to further study, you will learn a lot more deeper about poverty. So over here, I try to use some, yeah, some lead. Okay, this is this is, uh, this is dice. I trying to use some dice and some uh, tokens to teach you about the poverty. So I hope this video actually can give you better insight about what is poverty. Anyways, hope this video do help you. Thanks for watching.